Okay, uh, this is a Ernie's Machinery SR201 uh, Super Duty Strike Jam Router. Uh, we built we over we built it a little sturdier so that we could handle a extra heavy duty three and a quarter horsepower porter cable router. Now this is a new machine. This machine has never been out in the field to be and been used or anything. Uh, it uh, we built it uh, special that uh, we made it where uh, this is short enough, comes in far enough that you can do uh, your headers for uh, ball catches. Uh, you can move them in here and uh, set one of these for one side and, and do your two ball catches on uh, on your uh, uh, on your headers for your double hung doors. Uh, it's <coughs> it does it's eight foot capable on both uh, both sides of course left hand and right hand. It has a, uh, a triple template up here uh, that uh, has three positions. Now these three positions are all three full lip and they're a, a six and a half in, or six inch centers. Uh, here's your standard one right here in the middle. And then you have uh, one over on this side and one over on this side and they're both full lip. But if you wanted to change it from full lip to a closed lip, you would just set this little block in here, and now you, when you route it, it would be uh, one inch wide in a closed lip strike. And if you switched it over to this side, then uh, it would be, uh, you'd be doing a closed lip on this side. So uh, uh, this is a, what I'm saying, this is a full lip. These are full lip, but you can, with this little bar here, you can change it to a closed lip. If, so if you have a customer that uh, prefers to have a closed lip strike. Okay, uh, there's, all of these ha uh, are marked on this side with the dimension of the, from the center of the first, of the center cut. And most uh, uh, most exterior jams are a half inch, have a half inch center. So uh, you can set this at uh, uh, at uh, not here, but you do it over here. You can set it at uh, uh, for your exteriors. You would set it at. Uh, you, you drop this in there and tighten it. There's a little set screw. <coughs> if you were going to do a bunch of them, you'd set them in there. And that'll set your uh, jam back a half an inch because uh, <coughs> of your dado in your, uh, in your jam, in your exterior jam. Uh, there's two for each side. Uh, one, two right here and two right there. And we have this little block handy right here. Now, uh, also, to switch from uh, interior to exterior, all you do is flip that, uh, flip this little uh, thing over, and that allows you to go back with your uh, another three sixteenths, which is what you would want to do for an, to go from an inch and three eighths to an inch and three quarter door. Uh, we'll leave it in there for an inch and three eighths. Uh, also. <clears throat> This machine is set up to do uh, mold posts, uh, one and, uh, seven sixteenths thick uh, for the mold post, or up to two and uh, seven sixteenths uh, for you know for the outside of your mold post. And uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, I did okay. Now, when when you're doing uh, your uh, uh, you do your center route, and if you have you're doing extras and you're doing your eight, uh, uh, you're doing your, you you want to do your deadbolt. 
you don't have to move your jam, you just move your router over into either this for left and uh, one for right. Uh, right hand, uh, uh, right hand, left hand and right hand uh, uh, dead bolts. One thing I did want to point out is that this is a, a full three and one quarter horsepower porta cable router, brand new, good heavy duty router. It'll go, uh, if you need to plunge all the way through, you're gonna, it's, it'll plunge without uh, ever giving you any trouble. It's also, if you don't want to plunge all the way through, it has a very easy adjustment for how far it plunges by, can you see this collar right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's collar right here. You can set it down and it will, well, let me get over here. See, and, it, and you can see, make sure that you can set the depth of, uh, the set, with this collar right here, you can set the depth of your plunge. We've got it set where it plunges all the way through. Uh, for people that uh, use plastic uh, plugs to go through and, uh, and to keep their doors together instead of nailing them. Uh, you might walk around this is a and show that uh, that it is a heavy solid we have really beefed it up we've got a good uh, uh, inch and a quarter uh, uh, shaft here holding that that it's it's good and rigid and solid makes a nice cut which we'll show you here in a minute uh, it uh, uh, let's see here, let me, uh, we are, we are selling this, uh, machine at a close, uh, uh, close out price. And, uh, one of the things I want to point out is that these templates are identical to, uh, what Cabal uses for their, uh, 920C. So if uh, you needed a replacement and I was no longer in business, then you could go to Cabal and order a template for a 920C. Any, you can get these templates at five and a half on center. You can get them just uh, standard where they're just one uh, position. T-strikes, anything you want. Uh, we have made them where uh, these are on eight inch centers and that was for uh, a customer that wanted uh, eight inch centers for his uh, uh, eight foot jams uh, with a, a longer uh, with a it helped to have eight inch a full eight inches up to have put the deadbolt it helped make the door more rigid and not warp as, as much and uh, what we did was we just put two uh, 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 hinge uh, pocket, strike pockets in here, eight inches apart, and then they were able to, what they did was they set uh, these in to where they came out right, uh, uh, and they could route both their dead bolt and their regular standard strike without moving the jam and the left hand and right hand and they just used the same template. Uh, these templates, uh, they, they have, this travel actually will travel more than eight inches, I mean more than 12 inches, uh, but they're, what they, t what Cabal builds theirs at is for 12 inch travel uh, and we're, that's that's really all anybody ever needs uh, is a 12 inch travel. Okay, uh, we're going to uh, do a little, do a strike jam here. Uh, we don't have many jams, so we're just going to, we're not going to set it on any particular spot. Uh, he's is just going to route uh, uh, three. Actually, he's going to route three pockets and we will... Uh
Okay. Uh, these are the three pockets that Jim just uh, routed right here. And uh, they, uh, the plate fits in there right, real nice. And uh, you can see nice and flush. Nice and flush and uh, nice, uh, uh, it'll do a nice pocket. They do nice pockets. Anyway, and this, we, we actually make it just a tiny bit bigger. As you'll notice that some of your strike plates are a little bit oversized. So this one, is, and we use one here that is uh, 255 thousandths, which, you know, they should be two and a quarter. But it seems sometimes that uh, the manufacturers get them a little bit off, and uh, so we uh, we make the pocket just a skosh bigger so that it doesn't really rattle in there, but uh, and it won't with a 250 either. But uh, anyway, that's uh, that's your pockets. Uh, hey Jim, let's. Yeah. Uh, route uh, can, can we get this up there and route just one of them with it the, we're gonna uh, put this in put that little block in and we'll show you that you can do a closed face right here uh, you uh, do it, you can, by putting that little, placing that little block in that position, you've, you don't have the full lip. You've got a, a closed face, two and a quarter by one, with the bore all the way through it. Right. And uh, that's, uh, uh, that's how that works anyway. Those, that's handy to have, and uh, I, if I was if I was doing doing it, I would only buy open full lip and then use that when I needed to do close face. But uh, at any rate, uh, it's a well built, heavy duty little machine, and uh, it'll make somebody a nice machine. And like I say, you can also do your uh, uh, you can get in here close enough to do your uh, um, ball catches for your headers on double hung doors. All right, thank you very much.